Hey guys, and welcome to a therapist task guide, Disease History. For this task, you're going to need to obtain two medical records on reserve and then hand it over to the therapist. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. Sadly, when it comes to the RBSMP key or the RBKSM key, there isn't any hard spawn for these. So that means there isn't any single location where these keys spawns. The keys do currently spawn in jackets as well as in the pockets and bags of scavs. I do have a dorm loot guide that does hit up every single jacket inside of the video, which might be one of the best ways to get this key. But if you guys are struggling, make sure you head over to our Discord. We do actually have a helpline there dedicated purely just to get you through these tasks, which are the keys one. So it's same with the ST key as well if you're stuck on that one. But make sure you come and head over to our Discord and we can come unlock the doors for you. So in front of you on the screen is a map showing you reserve. The highlighted zone is actually the building we're going to be needing to hit up, which is White Bishop. We are over here by the giant helicopter. Over there's Black Pawn, White Pawn, Black Bishop. And then we got the server room. We're going to need to enter a White Bishop. So running through a really awkward route. So right here, we're going to just follow it around to the left hand side and go in through the side entrance. What we're going to do is go up these stairs right here. If you do come in from this main entrance over here, there isn't actually any stairs going up. So come through the wooden room and then on your left is the stairs and then head upstairs. We're going to head to our left hand side just like so and go down to the first room, which is the SMP room. Unlocking the door, make sure you check around because you can get a leddy in here. But we're actually going to be looking to the right hand side in between the two filing cabinets. And that's where we're going to get our first document. Then what we're going to do is make our way back out and go down to the end of the corridor. The one with the red plate on the door is the KSM room. Unlocking this door and going inside on the left hand side on the bottom shelf just right there towards the next one. If you happen to die after you've collected the documents then you do need to come back in again and collect the documents again. If you do actually collect one of them and then extract you can hand over the item you don't have to do them both in the same raid. If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash Piranha TV. And a huge thank you to Jay Dam, Freddy and Beansy. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. 